We're here in Gladstone Harbour at the southern end of the Great Barrier Reef. It's hard to believe that this is part of the Reef World Heritage Area and yet massive developments like this are allowed to go ahead. The Australian Government has just approved a fourth LNG gas terminal for Curtis Island right behind me and a coal terminal at Abbott Point and five million tonnes of dredging. The Australian Government has just thumbed its nose at the World Heritage Committee. By doubling Queensland's coal exports, we're not only risking the Great Barrier Reef, we're also cooking the global climate. And that comes back to bite us in the form of more frequent extreme weather events, coral bleaching and sea level rise. The Great Barrier Reef is already under threat from climate change, water pollution and crown of thorns starfish. The last thing it needs is more pressure from industrial developments up and down the reef coast. I came here 51 years ago with my parents. My husband and I, 29 years ago, we actually um, came over here. Yeah, we loved the place. Gladstone is a town that, in my opinion, five years ago, had the best of both worlds. The harbour is a huge part of, of, of our psyche. It's a huge part of who, who Gladstoneites are. I, in all the years that I've been on the water, whether it's through sailing or whether it's fishing or whether it's um, you know just crossing the water um, and being on the island, I would probably, I'd be lucky to have seen 10 dead turtles in all those years. In the last few years, a couple of years, I believe that I would have seen at least 50. And that's, that's not something you want to see. The only advice that I can give other communities that are facing the prospect of dredging is I would say fight. I, I would say try to galvanise, you know, the, the old fashioned saying, you know, people power. Um, sadly for Gladstone, we, we just did not have the people power. <laughs>